Text tag troubles update. New concerns surface over the state-run toll system operated by the Texas Department of Transportation. This time it's about the agency's technology standards. Investigator Matt Grant uncovered online tollway maps five years out of date and a mobile payment app that's now quietly abandoned. We're going on a trip. Down US 183, the Bergstrom Expressway, an eight mile stretch in East Austin, operated by the Central Texas Regional Mobility Authority, is touted as a key north-south alternative to I-35. It costs nearly a billion dollars. Here, tolls are collected by CTRMA, one of a handful of regional agencies across the state authorized to develop toll roads. This particular highway has been in use for more than two years, but you'd never know that. And they're showing us under construction. By looking at the Texas Department of Transportation's website. What does that tell you? It's not a priority. Nick Wood is an associate research engineer with Texas A&M's Transportation Institute, which has done transit studies for the federal government and TxDOT. He's troubled some of TxDOT's own public roadmaps haven't been updated since July 7, 2018. Why do you think it's taken five years to update? That's a good question. I don't know. He doesn't know why some of the state's maps aren't just outdated, but also confusing. On this map of Austin, Wood points out a color coding system that doesn't make clear if a road is owned by TextTag, CTRMA, or if it's fully tolled. Mopac Express, that is a tolled lane, one in each direction and SH-130, that's all lanes that are tolled. And they're both on the map, the same color. Unless you're like an engineer like me, it's kind of hard to decipher. Technology troubles have been a source of customer frustration. Since 2020, 25% of all TxTag complaints sent into KXAN related to technical problems, things like paying bills and accessing account information. We found similar complaints of computer and system errors made directly to TxDOT since 2020 about the state's own tolling system, TxTag, which works on tollways across the state. One frustrated driver complained to TxTag manager said in response to incorrect charges, the technology is not perfect. And if you want people to pay their toll bills, you have to make it easy, intuitive, uh, lessen the barriers for people to access that technology. According to the International Bridge, Turnpike and Tunnel Association, the worldwide association for toll owners and operators, a mobile payment app is considered best practice. The North Texas Tollway Authority and Harris County Toll Road Authority each have one. In 2018, one was in the works for TextTag. The CEO of the company Payit announced a partnership with TextDOT to build an app touting mobile is where citizens are and it is important to the Department of Transportation to make resources available in the most modern, efficient way. So what happened? TextDOT says it awarded Payit a no-cost contract in 2018, meaning no money was paid, but the app was placed on hold as TextTag was working to address back office system issues. Wood says reinvesting in technology would go a long way to drive down complaints. Try to understand how people are using technology and try to meet them where they're at because they are a government agency and at the end of the day they're responsible to the people. After I brought the outdated maps to their attention, I was told the agency is currently working to update information located on those pages. TxDOT did not respond when I asked why it took five years and us pointing it out to do so. Matt Grant, State of Texas. Thank you again for joining us for State of Texas. I'm Monica Madden. I'm Ryan Chandler. We'll be back next week to bring you an in-depth look at Texas politics.